want to shift gears because uh, one other thing that I know you and I are, have both been thinking about, and you know, it goes right on the heels of, uh, of some of the changes we're talking about, whether it be teledentistry or maybe even thinking about what dentistry is going to look like potentially on the other side. I, I, I just don't think it's going to be the same as what it once was. I think there's going to be a lot of changes. And uh, one of the changes I specifically wanted to ask you about it are um, how we're going to manage as a dental profession, um, specifically dental hygienists, uh, the idea of dental aerosols, because you know we, we're still learning about this virus, um, but we do know that uh, it is spread by droplets uh, and that uh, the dental environment could be particularly hazardous uh, when we aerosolize uh, saliva and infectious material. So, you know, how do you kind of see that? Uh, you know, knowing that there was an article recently by Scott Brom and Michelle Strange, I know that you and I both saw it, where they talked a lot about uh, ultrasonic instruments is kind of being the worst offender. And as a hygienist, you know, how are you seeing that? You know, what are your thoughts right now? Oh gosh, you're right. We can never go back to the way we were. You know, now that we, now you know what you know, you can't go back and pretend you don't know it anymore. So I think number one takeaway is we cannot go to, back to practice. Dental hygienists cannot go back to practice the way that we were before. Um, so what that looks like, yeah, we don't really know. Right now, as a dental hygienist, I am following the CDC guidelines and all of their recommendations and mandates of you know, not providing care, uh, minimizing risk, but I know that new guidelines are gonna have to be drafted for dental offices, and we don't have them yet. We don't know what they look like. Um, those new guidelines have to take into account what we know about aerosol, aerosols and the high risk in the dental practice. Um, I can tell you that right off the bat, I think it's important for us to know that- I'm Getting blown <laughs> over, Lance, hold on. Okay. <laughs> I, I was getting blown over by all this wind. It's a beautiful day. That's the yin and the yang of being outside. So please oh, continue. I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we can't go back and, and practice the same way that we used to. We have to really, really be very mindful about our risk. You know, dental hygienists specifically high risk, um, not only just ultrasonics and sonics, air polishing, air water syringes. I mean, every single thing that we use to do our job puts that at very high risk. Um, so we know we need new guidelines. We need the CDC to develop new guidelines and we don't know what those look like yet, but I can tell you for sure, it is going to be eye protection, uh, masks, probably an N95 mask, um, face shields, disposable gowns, and maybe even more significant changes, such as you know air filtration in our offices to capture that aerosol, or have you know rooms at least in rooms that are specifically generating aerosols. Yeah, but, you, you know, know, we can't go back. Yeah, that was uh, uh, that was something that I that I'm really specifically thinking about now is, um, you know, are we going to need a checklist to get started again? Are we going to need? I think yeah. we're definitely going to need guidelines. You know, what are we really going to need so that professionals? the operators and clinicians are going to feel comfortable getting back to work, but also the patients are going to feel comfortable coming back yeah. in and have a sense of confidence that they're protected as well. It's, I think, just think there's so much ground to cover in a very short amount of time because, you know, if we were to get the all, all, all go and, you know, the okay to start practicing again, I'm not sure we're really ready yet. And that's, uh, that's yeah. uh, you know, concerning, you know, for, for the people who are out of work and, uh, you know, the businesses are suffering. And so, you know, there's, there's a lot, to consider and, and the, the aerosol piece you mentioned the air handling uh you know will there that be mandated and how quickly can we get that going up and running and so there's a lot left to think right. about we need checklists and we need a, a transition plan we can't right just jump in so what's going to be the, the plan what procedures maybe can we do what can't we do mm -hmm. um i personally as a hygienist could not practice to my full ability without using all of those things that create aerosols right um, so it, it, yeah, it's, it's, are we going to, yeah, exactly. Are we going to take a, a step backwards from ultrasonic instruments back to hand instrumentation and, and maybe even take a, a fresh look at, uh, uh, poly, you know, coronal polishing every single patient, uh, you know, it, it could change the practice of hygiene significantly until we understand those guidelines and what, uh, what they look like, how to protect ourselves and our patients. And I think, you know, you're right. We, we have to remember that the patient is part of this whole equation too. Are they going to want to come in? Are they not going to want to come in? If they come in, how do we, you know, be a kind, empathetic, compassionate human being when we're covered with all this gear, right? You know, um, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. 
I'm so sorry my phone was on. No, you know, that's the beauty of these live Zoom calls. I almost got uh, my uh, umbrella blown over and uh, we're getting phone calls and texts. And, you know, it's just, yeah. hey, that's how it goes right now. So, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, you know we're, we're a little bit even, although I almost got this big umbrella, you know, uh, blown <laughs> on me. But, hey, we're doing, we're doing great. And, you know, um, uh, yeah, we can't go back. What the future looks like, I don't think anybody knows. And I don't know when it's going to happen, really, and when, when we're going to get back to uh, relative normal.